Okie dokie, Vintage Gamers. Um, Squeevine Vintage Challenge on the 13th of January. It's the Saturday Challenge. Um, this is the list that we're taking today. So of note, I'm going to try main decking two Caracas to try and have a bit of game against Lavinia. There's also splash damage like Atraxa and Thalia. Um, I feel like the Lurus Saga decks are now slanting a bit more into the blue-white space. So... This will be a nice main deck answer instead of the Furies that we I usually play. Um, everything else is pretty normal. Just three Mind Break Traps in the main to make space for that second Caracas. Post board we've got the final Mind Break Trap. One snap back because I don't like leaving home without it. Six Bits of Hate for the Mirror and other decks such as Dredge. And then the full four Furies and three Echoing Deeps this time around. I do still quite like this card. I think it's pretty versatile. Um, I think I like it more than like the extra strip mines we play, like usually a ghost quarter um, for the mirror match, because it gives me another ghost quarter. Yes, slowly, but also it gives me three more copies of Bazaar of Baghdad after the first wasteland. Um, so yeah, so let's take it down to round one and do battle i'll see you there okie dokie nerds so um round one of the vintage challenge 13th of january um we're gonna mulligan we're playing squeevine today i'll run you through the deck in a moment and this looks like a good keep okay so yeah this looks like a really really good keep um so we'll keep it and my opponent's kept on seven and they're on the play but we've got a bit of protection. We've got a future bazaar, although I can't imagine it's going to be in our hand too long. Um, this noxious. So they've revealed a Lurus as well. So we really need to like have not have a turn one Lavinia. Uh, we've now got a trap if they do have one of those. But we will see what they come with. As a saga, okay. As a saga can be an issue. We do want to find a wasteland for that. Some Mox Pearl and a Soul Ring. Do I want to trap the Soul Ring? I guess so. It means they're not buying Lurus this turn, right? So if they fight it, then that's pretty good for us. They didn't fight it. Um, there's a very good chance they've got a Lurian revealed to ensure they get onto their saga or just a second land. But we're going to put two 4 4s into play, maybe more. Yeah. A little bit more. So if we can find some Venge Vines, that would be pretty phenomenal. And we didn't, but we'll discard Root Waller, Noxious Revival, Force of Negation. Holding a Noxious for a potential Wasteland next turn. Um, the nice thing about having such an aggressive start is that if they Wasteland us or if this Saga ends up getting a Needle, then we're probably doing okay. So they force of will our dude, that's fine. I've got another one anyway, and I've got another one anyway. So pretty powerful opener from both sides, really. They've got Saga with a piece of power um, and a Soaring with force behind. And we've got three hollow ones becoming two. So Underground C, they can make a 2-2 two -two next turn, which will... Eat our hollow one. Is this just a Lavinia? It's a time vault. Wow, so we're just dead next turn. Wow. Brutal. So, we need to find a wasteland off of this activation or a force of vigor immediately. That's a blazing root, Wallace. That's not quite enough. And that's not enough either. So, we are going to go down to this start. Triple hollow one, not good enough. Um, never mind. So it goes. We'll attack for nine. We'll make them show us the key. And then we will continue on to game two. Um, they opt not to give us an extra turn, which seems smart. Make a mana with Saga. 
it's showing me that you remembered to register the key, but it's hard not to in the copy paste meta. So Saga goes off. And they got a mox jet. And they've got a manifold key in hand. So like that's the way around we want it, right? Because then this can be a misstep, but we'll go to game two up against blue black. So I want to try the deeps more in this matchup. Holy shit, Modo is really struggling. Um, snapback doesn't do a lot. Fury's like my one out to a bowman. Um, so maybe I want a few of those. I don't think we're too interested in graveyard hate. Mind break trap's always a bit weak. So I'm going to trim a trap. I'm going to trim a vigor. Um, what else can go? Chalice is usually actually somewhat reasonable on the play here. Um, Caracas can go. I'm playing Caracas main deck to try and beat up on the veneers. Um, so maybe I can trim a deeps and trim a fury and go something like this. I think I want actually fury I, don't know. I want one of deeps vigor fury I just don't know which one I want like yeah it's like this right I want one of these in my deck so that hand they kept on the basis of a very quick time vault key Maybe if they're on Volt Key, I'm supposed to be on Vigor, and I just accept that I've only got two outs to a Bowman. Um, I'm going to submit this, and we'll be back for game two. Okay, game two. So, um, I would like to play first this time, actually. That would be nice. Make a bit of a difference. A bit of a change. Okay, cool. So, we've got a Deeps Wasteland, some good discard equity. I wouldn't mind access to a blue card pretty soon. Um, preferably a force of will actually because I, I want a good way to get um, to get these bowmen away from me and they've re-revealed Lurus so we're not we're not playing ley lines um, playing against ley lines that's why I'm like kind of interested in ditching the vigors like and just have permission and a couple of vigors for the needles with more more Furies or something. Um, then they're so Wasteland heavy as well that maybe I want more Deeps. I don't know. We'll see. But no Vengevines at home today, nor any blue cards. We did pick up two of the Vigors that we kept in. So... There we go. So just two power, bit of an anemic clock, and... A hand that's going to be relatively good at like sort of grinding, but we've not found a squee just yet. So Mox Emerald is fine, mainly because I've got no response. Well, not mainly actually. Yeah. So now they're just holding a Bowman. So how do we play this? So the Bowmaster comes in and does the whole Wrath of God thing on us. It's another bazaar. So what if I just go to attacks? I could have vigored the Emerald on their end step. I'm going to play a Wasteland and I'm going to pass the turn. And now I'm going to activate my Bazaar of Baghdad. So we'll discard another Lizard, a Serum Powder. And it's either the Deeps or the Vigor. I guess it's the Deeps. I've got another Bazaar behind. Not the Vigor, sorry, the Negation. Negation or Deeps.
I'm going to discard the deeps. Because the deeps can be another... Um... The deeps can be another wasteland in the future. It could also be a scolding tarn. But I think... This is better. So probably just get base guard. No, they got underground sea. Um, I'll waste that. You've got a baymaster, you've got a baymaster. Yep. So one of the lizards goes down. And hopefully they put a saga on the trust stack, saga trigger. Yep, so we can now vigor. See if they've got force of will behind. They do not. So they're on Bowman. We're on Bazaar Bazaar. Negation. Hmm. Weird attack. I feel like you sent both. So we've now got negation up. We are winning the race here. Do I want to show them another bazaar? Like, activating bazaars into bowmen is really hard, really difficult. Oh, this attack was fucking awful. My word. Was play a bazaar. I'm not sure why I attacked there. Now they get another attack with the bowman. And if they do, do we just yeet five cards at them? They've got no mana. No, it's too bad, isn't it? I should be able to draw out of them, I think. If they're not playing lands, I think I'm okay to take damage. Or to not activate my bazaars. Venge fine. I think I'm not going to attack this time. I'm just going to chill. They're not getting anywhere particularly soon. Particularly quickly. Um... Okay. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be trading damage with the bowman because when we get into a spot where we need to activate Bazaar of Baghdad, the bowman kills me exceptionally quickly. So, Mox Jet. Where do we stand on? I think I like negating the Mox Jet. I think I'll pitch the Master. And the Lotus, good lord, okay. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem good for us. Um, into Treasure Cruise. Okay. The Wasteland. Sure, you can waste one of my bazaars, that's fine. Do I want to spin now? I'm really annoyed about pitching that master at this point. Um, no, I think I'll hold. There's a Chalice of the Void which doesn't do much. Do I want Chalice in hand or Chalice in yard? I think I want Chalice in hand. Or in play, I mean. I think I want Chalice in hand. They've played a Jet, they've played a Lotus. We've just got Sapphire and Baubles left. Another fucking strip mine. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Um, okay, I'm going to activate now. I'm not particularly pleased about it. So, Squee, 
Vengevine and Chalice can go away. They can get their creatures. And now we can draw a Fury at some point. Let's kill this Bowmaster. We've got two Bazaars and one Deeps left. So that's not very many cards across 42 of them. Hmm. Unsure. Unsure. They got Tundra as well, okay, so like an Esper colour one. Interesting. Mental misstep. Yeah, I'm not sure with how I played this game. I liked my bizarre activation response to the Bowman. Am I supposed to push and try and find a Fury? But I'm only on two Furies, I didn't bring in three or four. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. They get a clean up and discard a hand size, they discard a DT, we draw a powder. Running out of turns. It's got this draw step and then the next one to find an answer to this bowman. And even then it doesn't look hopeful. So they're gonna go to discard again. So this is the turn to draw it because then I've got double force of will behind. Uh no, we missed. Now I don't have any Force of Wills behind when I um, Fury them next or if I can Fury them next turn. So we go to one. Our Force of Wills are dead. Our Master of Deaths are dead. Our Mental Misstep is dead. They're discarding to hand size. I can't imagine a Fury's ever resolving at this point. It was possibly resolving last turn. It's certainly not resolving this turn. Oh, well. One turn too late, my man. Yep. Cool. So we go down on game one and uh, round one. They had nothing else. So yeah, if we draw it last turn, then we probably are in a good spot. Um, So I Fury, you Force, I Force, you Spell Pierce, I Force, your creatures are dead. You've got a 2 mana 2-2, two -two, which is fine, and a Plow, which is fine. Like, their hand's fine, right? The moment they hit a land, it's online. The moment we hit a land... Yeah, just a turn too late then on Fury for us to have a good chance of being competitive in this game. Okay, round two, we're up against Restrict Hollow One. So let's see if we can uh, make them believe that again. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, there's one there. That's the exact amount they want to be against, so. Who knows? Um, yeah, let's keep this hand. We'll bottom a powder. We are on the play, which is pretty tasty. Um, turn one, pretty obvious. Spin and pray for discard cards. Um, so we've just got Powder Master. And another card between Wasteland and Mindbreak Trap. I feel like Wasteland is just better in this format at the moment than Mindbreak Trap. Um, we'll cast the Hollow One. We won't fight over the Hollow One. Is there a force of will pitching mind break trap? Huh. Maybe we should fight over the other one then. So what plays force of will and trap other than us? Um Some really balls deep Lurus decks. No, I think I fight back then in that case. 
I think it's a, I think it's a mirror. It's going to no wrecked. Force negation. We'll attack for four. We'll wait until end step to their end step to activate the the bazaar here, so that we can just discard the two cards we draw and the master of death. That's if we still have a card in hand. Does that mean it's oath of druids then, like a Miharu style oath deck? So. Yeah, I don't think I need to wasteland right now. I think I can activate my bazaar. We'll discard one of each. What are we playing against? I haven't played a lot of vintage since Cube came online, but I am deeply confused. Uh It's not a Lurus deck, is it just like an Underworld Breach deck? Anyway, I don't gain anything from activating this turn, so we'll just hold. We'll keep the Caracas in hand as well, though. Um, just so we've got something else to discard later. So we'll get in for five. We've still got this negation to play with. And they've got a brainstorm with a fetch land, which we can't actually do anything about um, due to the timing restrictions on negation. The uh, reason I'm not punting away this wasteland is I'm just a little bit concerned about um, Urza's saga. Although if they play it now and then attack them, yeah, so maybe I can actually waste a volcanic at this point. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. Though. I think I'll. I think I'll let them have their mana for a minute. So Fury is evoked. Pitching Fury. Very interesting. Also is it like a beanstalk deck then? Into Misty. And then fetches. And then they're gonna play the whale. Delving away a brainstorm and a force of will. Oh there's a tiger there. Oko okay, Thief of Crowns. Sure, so let's pitch to fight Oko. Okay. And then it comes back to us. I am just gonna spin on end step. I don't think Caracas is doing anything in this matchup. So we get another dude into play. Yeah, the hollow one going is a bit of a shame, but means we get to spin upkeep as well. And so we've got three creatures now. I think I'm going to kill like a tropical island or a volcanic this turn. Let's go after the tropical island. And attack for two. Sends our opponent to six. So they've got just a couple of draw steps to find something to do. It's a wasteland. I get a squee back, and I've got a venge vine, which is good for the vigoring. You get a three. Your turn. Last turn, where you need to come up with something. Tropical island. And a concession. Okay. Still don't think I know what they're playing. Um, yeah, I still don't think I know what they're playing. Fury. But they had Brainstorm, right? So they, are they on that, like, Rhino's deck that was out the other day? I'm going to have a look. Okay, I really have no idea. I can't find anything. So I'm going to bring in a couple of Furies. 
Um, I'm going to bring in a couple of deeps and I'm going to trim a mind break trap. A and two Caracas. And then a chalice on the draw. I'm expecting ley lines. I think they're going to be like a beans deck, but I don't have much. I don't have loads of confidence in that, right? Like, it's hard to know. I'm kind of pleased I forced back, though, but we shall see. That's a lot of bazaars, so I guess I can drop a deeps or a bazaar. I'm actually going to drop a bazaar, because this deeps can become a... Um, Bazaar or a wasteland. Is that correct? No, that's never correct, right? Just keep the bazaars and carry on with my day. So let's see if we get any more info out of our opponent in this game. They're on the play. We've got no... Nothing going on. Um, in terms of interaction. Oh, Orcish Lumberjacks, they're just doing the thing that um, Justin was doing the other day. Cool, so... Um, let's play a Bazaar, and then let's pitch a Squee to Fury, and just kill this. Done. Okay. I don't know if I'm activating the Bazaar, but the reason I played Bazaar here is so that if they do have a Force of Will behind, I can I can draw into a blue card, right? That was the whole joke there. If they've got a Wasteland, I'm probably not activating because I've got two more Bazaars. They're also quite low on resources. Looks like they're not going to waste me. They might waste me upkeep when I don't activate there. Nope. And now I can get an activation in. Discarding Vengevine Lizard Noxious, I guess. Yeah. I've got infinite bazaars and infinite time as well, because they've only got two cards left in hand. Again, playing out the bazaar to look for a blue card if we can get there. Opponent doesn't have any more mana, so that's quite cool. They might just be like a green source away from Oko or something like that. And that's a force of will, which is very nice. So we'll just attack for one. I don't think I'm activating for a while here. I just want to get up to some cards so that I've got like decent discards. Because at the moment I'm discarding Noxious Revival in the two cards I draw. So and even that's bad, right? Because because that's a, that's getting rid of a green card away from my force of vigor, which gets my engines going. Um, squee, okay. So it's getting for one. So there is cards I can discard, but I don't really want to discard this bazaar because they've got one Wasteland already, they just need one more to make it a problem for me discarding this Bazaar of Baghdad. And then I don't want to discard the Noxious because it's a green card for Vigor. So this is going to be the first turn I actually have good discard outs. And do I even want to be discarding here? Well, now that I've got yet another blue card to... I may as well like wait on my activations until I've got the information of what I'm keeping sort of thing. So let's say they play Oko with Force of Will behind here. I know I want to draw into Force of Will. If they don't play Oko, I'm happy to chill out and find a green card at my own pace sort of thing. They have got four cards in hand. They are playing a lot of lands. They might be working just working up to Lorien Revealed or something like that. Um... Upkeep, they're going to Ancestral themselves. Is this a fight I want to get into? Is the next question. Probably not, just because I think I want cards in hand. 
But then, yeah, I have to. I have to. The cards are going to be too good if you ignore the lumberjack. Um, I'm expecting them to counter back here. But I feel like keeping the resources low is good for me. They didn't counter back, so that's quite interesting for the home team. Um, I'm going to go to combat. And I'm going to wasteland one of their spells in a moment as well. One of their, one of their wasteland one of their spells. That's a lot of. There's a lot of things wrong with saying that. Um, I'm going to wasteland one of their lands. I'm not sure which one. It's going to be one of the blue ones. Although actually, maybe they could have a. Um, tabernacle at Pendle Vale, but I've not really got anything to tabernacle away. If I activate. No, we can sit on Wasteland a bit longer, I think. So they're back up to four cards in hand after the Ancestral Exchange a minute ago. Mox Emerald comes in. Strip mine. So I'm going to activate Bazaar here. Wait, did they play a whole breach? I don't know. Apparently not. Um, so Lizard, Squee, I guess Wasteland or Noxious. It's always a bizarre, but I'm just so scared of them drawing another wasteland and I just die for no reason, you know? Um, I'm going to pitch the Noxious. And cast myself a Blazing. Get him for one. Now we can carry on with the game and like lose with um, a single force of vigor in our deck or in our hand or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, wastelanding them doesn't look like it's particularly getting anywhere, does it? They've got three cards. It's a powder, so I'm just going to attack for two. And I'm going to play the strip mine. Is that true? Maybe it shouldn't be true. Maybe we should wait to see if we want to discard it later. Another land from the opponent, still on three cards, which we can I probably we can probably safely assume is like tabernacle in permission here. So now I'll play the strip and I'll attack. And now their tabernacle is like really quite dead. If I draw another strip mine, the big question is do I cast this serum powder? No, so I'm probably activating soon. We're up to four cards, they could have like a fury. I don't know. So Tiger. The funny thing about Fury is I don't really want to activate in response to Fury, right? So Tiger, Trop. One, two, three. So that is the Fury. I'm just going to force it. See if they come with something. Nope. I'm going to activate my Bizarre on end step. Be very displeased with myself. So let's cast that. We'll get him for three. We're well insulated against the Tabernacle. It would have to be Tabernacle plus Walk from them. 
I'm now just going to activate and just spin some cards away. Ding, ding, ding. Get him for three. They get a five. And we're going to need something reasonably special from the opponent, I think, in this spot. So this is my hollow one. They could have figures, actually, in their deck, couldn't they? This is my hollow one. Um... There's no point in stripping anything that's not a tabernacle at this point in the game. So they play a lotus. I think they had enough mana already. They play a sapphire. Are they showing me cards or are they actually got something to do with all this mana? And a wasteland as well. BBB and a leyline of the void. And it's them just showing me that they drew all their hate pieces and none of them mattered. So that's cool. Um... I'm going to spin some cards. And um, we'll spin some more cards, despite them being exceptionally dead. Okay. So it looks like we pick up round two. Pretty unfortunate draw from the opponent there. 42 cards left, so... 18 cards deep, and all they've got is mana, a lumberjack, an ancestral, and... A fury so lucky us go us one and one back for round three okay next round uh, round three I think yeah we're one and one uh, we want a die roll which is pretty dope up against Aeon Way 7 so we basically need to win out now to get any chance of being in contention um, this is a pretty good hand. They've revealed a Lurus, though, which we don't enjoy. Um, but seven cards with a bazaar, a little bit of pressure. And yeah, these Lurus decks are the big issue for us at the moment. Um, I feel like we're quite far behind them. They can grind pretty hard. If they're white blue, they've got the Vineyards. If they're not white blue, they've got Bowmasters um, on top of Wastelands and Sagas. It's just. It's all a bit miserable. You need a very quick and very aggressive hand, but obviously you can't go mulliganing for one um, like you would do with a traditional deck with like your proper lands and shit. So let's see how this goes. Uh, they've mulliganed to six, um, which is cool. Hopefully, Avenge Vine from somewhere. No, so how do we want to do this? Two lizards and a master of death? Yeah, I like that. Two lids as a master, so then we've got Force of Will open still. And if we hit Avenge Vine next turn, um, we can bring it back for sure. We're guaranteed that. And we've got a Noxious to force through to guarantee we untap with a Bazaar available as well. So, could have been more aggressive with it, but I think, I think this will do us nicely. We'll definitely be discarding the lizard next turn, though. And that's that's sort of like without a doubt at this point. Um, obviously, things can change that, but we do need to be putting power and toughness into play. So petal, oh, petal into nothing. What the fuck does that mean? What on earth did you keep? Is it just ancestral hand then? I have no idea. Anyway, let's go find a Vengevine. No, we missed there. So let's discard, discard, discard. Um, yeah, two lizards and a master again. Just always maintaining access to this force of will. And now we've got a Caracas, which I am going to play out. Because the reason we're main decking Caracas is for this matchup, for when they've got Lavinia. Okay. Um, I feel like the petal ones, the petal decks are the ones that are more likely to have Lavinia because she's harder to cast on turn one than a bowman. But a very interesting keep from our opponent. They must have something that they know is like busted. Um, cast hollow one. I'm probably not forcing through the hollow one. And then there's a Caracas for you as well, my man. So do we want to give them a 
bauble. Basically, the laser land drop by a turn. And they have to cycle it. I think that's fine at this point. We just need turns, right? So let's give them a bauble. If they slow order land for some reason, then good on them. But if they've not, then this means they're drawing the bauble. Yes, they get through the, the, that card on my upkeep, but it means that they don't get to make a land drop this turn. So I think that's fine. Just, yeah, matching your draw step with my draw step is when you get your card. Okay, so they've got a saga. Maybe they had a hard saga the whole time. And spreading sees my bazaar. I don't feel about that. Not great, actually. I don't feel fantastic about that. Really interesting to slow roll the saga. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. But they're done now, and we're going to get in for 8 points of damage. And probably just give them another bauble, I think. And we'll pick up this here. There's my Vengevine, just on time. Just when we needed it. Um, so let's get in for the full 8. Do we just give them a Force of Will, actually? Force of Will doesn't do anything. Bauble draws them closer to something somewhere. Um, let's pass and then think about it. I think giving them a force of will is better than giving them a bauble. So then they draw a force of will for the turn. And we're basically not casting any more spells this game anyway. So they had another land as well. I'm like maximally confused about the way this game's been played. Am I just going to get Volk Yeed as well? No, so they've got an Ancestral. Swords to Plowshares. Okay. Go to 17. Got a wasteland, so we'll attack, send them to four, and then we'll waste the saga. So that can get a lotus, or that can get a soul ring, or just generally things we're not particularly interested in happening. Um, they tap it for a mana and cycle a Lorien revealed. So. Yeah, cool, man. They must have drawn their two lands off their two bauble triggers, right? Does that work? I don't know. I'm so confused. But never mind. I think we're in a decent spot here. Um, they've got a second Tundra, which I think they just Lorien for. It's, and then they've cast Dig through time. Yeah, so they Lorien for the Tundra. Dig's fine, I can't do anything about anything at the moment, it's just I'm attacking for four. That's it, that's the whole joke. So they need to find like fast mana plus something to do. And they didn't do that. So that's good for the home team. Let's go to sideboarding. So, post board, they're going to have containment priests, they're going to have plows, um, and they're going to have Lavinia's. So I want a couple of Furies to get through stuff with. I don't need the traps quite as much, but I'm less interested in Force of Vigor. Chalice on the draw is typically bad, but we do like Caracas in this spot. So do I care about Containment Priest? Maybe a snapback over the two Furies is fine. Containment Priest, Lavinia, maybe a Snapcaster Mage, that sort of shit. Um, Maybe I can just drop a trap and have one fury. No, I can't have a fury. So one trap. Just means my blue count's pretty low. Zero traps, four vigors. Maybe that's better. Maybe this echoing third echoing deeps is a bit too aggressive, but I think 
I think we're going to roll with it. And just try and always have access to wastelands and bazaars. Because um, they've got wastelands as well. So that way we've got a good way of having um, bazaars on the way through. So this hand looks fine. Not the best, not the worst. If they've got a turn one needle, it's really awkward. Um, yeah, if they don't have a turn one needle, we'll have two to three power in play, maybe more. Um, so Delta, Bauble, Baubles themselves. And they don't fetch right now. So what do we exile? We exile two vines and one Caracas. So we've only got one Caracas and two vines left. We also exiled an Echoing Deeps, which means there's one Echoing Deeps left. Um, I'm just going to throw some cards at them quickly. So, same as before, really. How much power do I want in play? I think I'm going to do... I think because I don't have four of them, I'm just going to do triple lizard. And try and present a clock. So three dudes come into play. And if they spend a turn next turn, like, playing a tabernacle or something, then that's, like, really good for us. Obviously, the loss of all the cards is not great, but... But it means that they're not playing Lavinia's and Containment Priests and stuff. Because they're actually bigger than our dude at the moment. Um, bigger than all of our creatures. So they fetch on end step. To grab a Tundra. And then they cycle Lorien Revealed. So next land drop. So they just liked what they saw on top with their Bauble. Could be a Needle, could be a Lavinia. I think that's the main two that it can be really. And there's Lavinia. So that's fine. We have to just go and find our other Caracas before we can do anything that resembles winning. winning. Um, and that's a Lizard. So we are going to get pretty fast and loose with the amount of um, wastelands we throw at them here. Um, I'm just going to discard blue cards. Let's wasteland them. And we're going to hold Lizards as much as possible to... Because we can, we can still reanimate vines. We've only got two vines left, but we can still reanimate them through a Lavinia with double thing. That's a time walk from the opponent. We can't do anything, right? Like, none of our spells work. So, we need them to not wasteland us. They might go and buy Lurus here. They've got a Caracas of their own. Sure. And they buy Loris, hold up Caracas. Did I bring in any Furies in the end? I bought them the snapback, didn't I? Not the, yeah. That was really bad. It would be really nice to have access to a Fury in the face of a Loris. But hey ho. So let's activate again. We'll discard Squee. Blue card. Noxious, I guess. And we'll wasteland a tundra. And we'll pass to them. So that time walk was a really big game because it got them to the three mana they needed to cast Lurus. And now they're going to Lurus Bauble us for about four and a half minutes before we concede, probably. Um, It's very difficult for them to ever attack at the moment. So still no Caracas, but we'll keep keep digging. Um, so Squee, Vigor. Yeah, Squee, Vigor, Nox, uh, Negation, I guess. And then we'll just Wasteland them again. So 
So they've got another bauble, and they're just they're just on pure howling mine mode at the moment. And there's a saga to come in and completely punish the fact that we punted away all our cuts. So this is the turn that we need um, Caracas. It's like now or never really because of the saga, or another one of our two strips and wastes. That's not a Caracas, that's a hollow one. So let's activate. And I think we can give up there. I don't think we're getting anywhere through an active saga. Although I can no, I can still draw, can't I? Um let's discard. So squee. A red lizard can go. And then, do I just discard Hollow One? Because I can't use it. Maybe, maybe that's fine. Uh, I will cast that. So yeah, Krakus next turn and then I'd have Vigor with stuff behind. They bauble us again. Both players have like their nut engines going. Um, they're probably just looking for tabernacle as a way through. The saga will lock down my bazaar next turn, and they'll get a creature right now as well. So let's activate with bazaar. And I think that is going to do me now. Cool. So. I do want a couple of these guys, I think. I don't want this one. I feel like I'm a bit heavy on lands, but I don't mind too much. And I think just dropping a red lizard might be okay as well. I'm not sure. I'm a bit lost with this matchup at the moment. Um... Very, very reliant on getting Caracas or them not resolving a Lavinia. They've revealed a Lurus. We'll keep this hand. Could really do with another creature this turn, I think, to get to get the good clock into play. And we miss. So we'll discard Powder Vengevine Squee. We've got a Negation. For a little bit of support. We've got another bazaar if they just lead on like Wasteland Go. But if they've got Needle with Force behind then we're in a real shit position. Um, so Bauble's fine. They Bauble themselves again. And Flooded Strand. Once again, the card on the top of their deck is great. So, no needle is nice. They go back up to seven cards. We pick up our squee and go back to seven cards after our draw step. And that's a vigor. So, I'm going to activate my bazaar before playing my other bazaar. Um, I'll discard. I'll just got a revival here alongside Squee. And I'll play another bazaar and I'll give that a spin. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um So Vigor. Negation. And Noxious, I think, can go, because I've got two bazaars going now, so they can't get both of them. I've got a force of will for Lavinia, but they've Obviously got seven cards in hand at the moment, going to eight on their draw step. Um, and now with Squee, Fury and the Lizard, we are a lock to bring back that Vengevine next turn. This is whether that Vengevine's like good enough, you know. So cycle Lorien to fix their Tundra. Um, and hopefully we get the Force of Will out of our hand this turn. Time walk. 
I think Time Walk's fine. I think I have to let Time Walk go, because if they just force me and play Lavinia, then they'll force me and play Lavinia next turn, actually. But... I just feel like this is... A spot where I need to be fighting, like, crucial spells. Into Mox Sapphire. So Saga Sapphire. Containment Priest. Okay. No Lavinia there. So we'll pick up Squee. They've got four cards in hand. Yes, I'd like my Squee back. I would like my draw step too. We'll start off with Fury pitching Squee. They've got Force of Will. Pitching Force of Will. So we'll force back. That gets through. Fury comes into play. So we'll dome the priest and hope they don't have another one. Okay. So that's a lizard coming in, and I'm going to hold off on the other bizarre activation because I want to possibly have it in the future, or at least want the card to discard next turn. So I just pitched my squee to get that through. So I could have had a squee in my yard and a powder in my hand, I think, is the way that would have played out if I'd pitched Fury. Um, this Urza Saga is going to be an issue. They've got two cards. They can buy Lurus this turn if they want to. So they've got a Livinia alongside an Urza Saga. There's only so many lands I can play in a turn to deal with this shit. Um, I think I'd have to be prioritising the Saga, Wastelanding the Saga over the Lavinia. Um, so let's activate this. That's a Caracas. So my Lizard's not going to make it into play. And we'll cast this. We'll play Caracas. We'll flip two cards, just in case it's exactly Vengevine Lizard. It is not. It's another Caracas and a Noxious Revival. Um, and we'll bounce this and send with our 4-3. The 4-3 can't attack after next turn. Um, both my Furies are in my graveyard. My Bazaars might be dying. They could be needling... They can Needle, and they can Needle Bazaar or Caracas. It's not clear which one's better. When I've got zero cards in hand, I imagine it's just easier to do Bazaar. Especially when your Needle makes your guy trade with my guy. I've got no Squeeze going. Yeah, I think it's got to be Bazaar. Yeah, they agree. And they get in for four points of damage as well. So that's nice for them. Their hand is Lavinia plus two cards, but they're not even playing out the Lavinia now. I draw the Nutlow, the worst draw in the deck. I don't think there's any world where I can attack here. I'm not sure at what point I have to trade off with Construct tokens. I've got a brainstorm. So yeah, it certainly looks like we're going to lose round three here. Um, yeah. 
is a shame, but it is what it is. I almost didn't play Squee today. Um, I almost went for... Yeah, that's game. Cool. All right, good games to our opponent. Let's go to the next round. I will see you there for hopefully less Lurus. Okay, round four against the Power Nine. So I think that means Beseech recently. Um, definitely something busted and combo-y. However, we got something busted and very blue. So they're on the play. We're on the draw. We've powdered away some nonsense. Just one hollow one, one Vengevine, one Wasteland, and one Squee. So that's what's to note there. And one of my traps, actually. Did I register the full four traps this week, or is there one in the board? There's one in the board. Okay. So our hand's good against combo. Um, we've got a bit of a clock. We've got some interaction. That's what we want. Let's see what they see what they come with. On their turn one, then. Right. Opponent's first main phase, and they've got a Lotus a Petal. They're going to miss a land drop as well with just Petal. There's a Saga. Okay. Not ideal for the home team. Into Emerald. And then they just pass the turn across. So we'll spin the bazaar. And I guess I'm just going to drop Triple Lizard into play. Is that even good though? Because the saga is going to nail us. Um, no, I'm going to hold a Lizard and I'm going to discard a Squee. Um, so I'm maintaining double interaction for the stack and I've got a lizard if I get to Vengevining later. We do only have three Vengevines left in our deck but we still need to consider them because this token from the Saga is just going to be so big so soon. It might only be a 2-2 two -two this turn but still bigger than my 1-1s. One so yeah this is very much going to be a game where they have to beat us with Saga because or more than likely they have to beat us with Saga because our hand's so strong. Um, so they've just shipped it back. Um, I don't know if they play main deck Needle. Um, I could literally look at the other screen right now and find out though. That might be a play. Do they have main deck Needle? Um, so top, Sol Ring, Manifold Key, and Power. So yeah, no main deck needle. In previous iterations, obviously people tweak lists and change decks. Um, we're going to activate the Bazaar of Baghdad. Wasteland is great. Oh, Wasteland is great. Yeah, look at that. Um, they've had one main deck shield rid recently, so I'm not up for... I'm not actually up for punting away my Caracas just yet. Um, I'll just discard a Lizard. I don't mind. I feel like this wasteland's going to buy me so many turns that, um, yeah, we don't need to be about that. So let's wasteland this saga. They'll probably make a token. They don't make a token, so I get to get in for damage then. That's cool. That is very cool. And now we've got three pieces of interaction up on their turn. And our hand is only going to get stronger. So... Yeah, the petal, too much of a cost to make a, a construct. The hand must be pretty good in that spec case then. Um, I think the best best thing that can happen for us is that they crack this petal and cast Dark Ritual. So we just get to spend one card for their two. And, and it will probably force them to start an interaction fight at a spot where they don't want to. Um, the, these ritual combo decks are typically good for us as the as the squee player, so it's nice to come across one of these matchups. But then the power nine is one of the one of the players on the platform, you know, that uh, 
Oh, hang on. I was maybe looking at the wrong list. Yes, yeah, so they've had no shield reds. And still no main deck needles. So, yeah. Power, soaring top, manifold key as a saga target still, and mana crypt. Um, Sphinx and portal to Phyrexia post board for Tinker. So, yeah, they start off with Dark Ritual. We will misstep that. They force back. Pitching Fluster. And I think I'll just negate your Dark Ritual now. The reason I'm fighting the Ritual is it just means that I A, exile it. Um, and it was just like an easy place for us to pick up. But us exiling the Ritual just means it makes a potential Yorg Moss Wheel slightly worse than just negating the Force of Will. They did exile a Fluster Storm as well, which is good for the home team. Chalice, also fantastic. So we'll discard... Squee, Lizard, Caracas at this point. Uh, I don't want to press no, I want to press yes. And I'm going to attack for four. For three, sorry. Bing, bing, bing. So opponent goes to 14, three cards in hand, just an emerald in play. Um, we'll cast the hollow one, we know they don't really have permission at this point. And we'll cast the chalice. So going forwards, my next Force of Will is going to be pitching my Master of Death. Um, and they've conceded anyway. So that's grand. Uh, rough matchup for the opponent, but we're going to take it because we're just getting bodied. Post board, three, a full three Pizzing Needles, two Defense Grids, two Hole Breachers, Sphinx and Portal. So they are coming prepared for us. Um, Oh man, the whole breaches are really awkward, aren't they? Because they make, make me want my Furies. Um, well, I certainly don't think I need my Caracas because I can't see a Shieldred in their previous lists at all. Um, let's just flick back and just confirm that. Yeah, appears to be no, no Shieldreds from the Power 9 in the past. It's just the other players' list I was looking at. Um, don't need Echoing Deeps so much because they are not a Wasteland deck. Certainly want the four. Um, the full four Vigors. I'm just wondering if, if there's something like Noxious that could be trimmed for something like Surgical. Um, I don't think so. We'll just go... As much blue as we can get our hands on, and some vigors as well. Because they've got the full three needles, right? So that's going to be quite difficult for us to do to deal with, and we want to be max green and max blue. So we're on the draw for game two, which is not great for an opening hand. Um, I mean, it kind of is great, right? Your needle is dead, your needle doesn't resolve, I have a chalice, but no bizarre. So now I've got a bizarre, a chalice, and a vigor. So this is... A pretty boring opener. And I can definitely see worlds where I wasteland first. So it's gonna be interesting how we play this. Triple vigor. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna bottom the blazing because then I've got a engine card with with the master of death. I've got a wasteland for your saga, and I've got a vigor for your moxen. I'm gonna. Give them this mana. I'm happy with that because I want to wasteland them. Okay, so no needle. Interesting. No needle, no zeros. So that means I just like on a lore and revealed into like Lorians into Hole Breacher at some point. Oh, that's really interesting. So I want to wasteland them. But then if I wasteland them, I don't have a bazaar in place. I can't go digging for a blue card to go with this Master of Death. 
which means I can't protect my chalice of the void. I'm going to wasteland them. And I'm going to just play my chalice and get the force of will out of their hand because then I've got a vigor for their needle. No, the chalice just gets through as well. Wild, 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 wild. So what does that mean? Does that mean they're like on a... No zeros, no Lorien. No zero, no Lorien. No needle. Multiple sagas then? No force. No, that's a pearl, okay. Uh, it looks like the show you all my zeros and pass sort of game. No, so that's just, and then they were concede the match. Okay. But where does that get them? I wonder what the payoffs are for this. Maybe just a beseech, but then is that not a turn one kill with a beseech? I don't know, never mind. We return to two and two, um, not doing particularly well this challenge, right? But, you know, I'm still going to play some games. Um, so, yeah, catch you for round something five. Okay. Round something or other five, I think. Um, we're up against... Why Principe? Um, we're going to powder this hand, there's nothing here for us. Um, and we'll keep this hand because it's banging. Um, I don't know what the prince is on these days. It's been a lot of mono white and a lot of jewel recently, I think. I think they're on jewel, actually. Um, which means our hand's pretty well set up. Um, if we can hit another blue card, that would be kind of perfect. Um, what do we hit? Another blue card. So I'm going to hit discard one bazaar, one master, and one master. So then I'll have two squeeze going, a backup bazaar in case I get duped from the fact that they're not actually playing thingy, playing jewel, and I've got a trap to pitch and a trap to cast. So here's my 4-4. Four, four. And then it, like, this is one of those things where if their opening hand isn't, doesn't make me expend all of my cards, we are in some shape. So Grim Monolith, I think I'm actually just going to let go. Now I will fight the ring. And we've got Trap for Force Back. So they do have the Force Back. They're going to exile a blue card from their hand. And it they're making a choice at the moment, which is unusual for this deck. Uh, I'm going to click on that just in case I... Yeah, I just exiled all of them. Get out of here. It's cool. So we get two squeeze back to our hand. Um, the reason I did that was I wasn't confident I'd clicked on the ring. So I just clicked on the negation and then it also exiles everything. Um, not ideal play, but you know. We're here for it. So we'll discard the lizard and one of the squeeze. We'll hold a squeeze for a negation. Looked like they had a blue card in hand, they were trying to work out which one they wanted to get rid of. And then this bizarre activation will be an end step bizarre so that we can always maintain this interaction. Um, if they, like if they don't cast anything this turn, that is, we have an end step bizarre activation, bring back two masters. So we've got to get a move on because that saga's big and scary, but they've got no follow up, probably looking for blue mana at the moment. Um, I think they're choosing between Metamorph and P.O. is going to be my guess. Now that's a really interesting question. Um, so we clearly discard Lizard. And we clearly discard Master of Death. Those two we know, that's easy. After that, do I want to discard Force Negation or Strip Mine? Um, I'm going to discard the strip mine and be very upset if they have ancient tomb. We're well, not very upset, it would just be annoying. 
but there's only four lands that get them into mana for Saga, whereas there's other cards that could be annoying in their deck. Is that right? Or I can just strip mine their workshop. So they're turn two, so they've not missed a land drop yet. Strip mine workshop, strip mine Saga, or just hold up Force of Negation. No, I'm just going to hold up Force of Negation. I'm going to get my two squeeze back. I'm going to activate one of my bazaars. That was tough. I'm not sure if it's correct. But Ancient Tomb's the only thing that really punishes us here. Everything else uses the stack to get their saga active. Um, and I don't think they can activate their saga. So... So I'll discard both the Masters here. Is that right? Both the Masters? What can they have? What can they have that costs one that I ever care about? Soul Ring would be piss annoying. Manifold Key would be annoying. No, I'm discarding the Masters. I'm holding the Revival. So I'm not against revival on strip mine next turn or this turn. So that's a mox pearl. So that's fine. And another saga. So that's annoying. Um Okay. Am I going to get Saga Gaming out of this? Oh, the real question. Can I let them duel? I don't think so, because... If they hit a Metamorph, then that'll be two duels, and that'll be a bit much. So... I'm going to go to the end step. I'm going to put strip mine on top of my deck to strip the saga on one, I assume. Yeah, the saga on one. And then I'm going to attack them for six. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the strip mine on the top of my deck and spin my bazaar. So we're going to hold some priority. Make sure your keyboard plugged in before attempting this maneuver. Um, Target strip mine, pay two life, flip the bazaar. There we go. That executed the software, which is, uh, you know, not always the easiest thing to do. So there we are. I get strip mine back. I get three squeeze back. I'm going to activate one bazaar at sorcery speed for sure. So, Squee, Master, and I'll do a Lizard as well. I'll cast one. I'll strip mine your Saga on one. And do I activate this? I don't think so. Yeah, no, he can't play it. Like my opponent can't play around. Um, my opponent can't play around anything at the moment because they're just dead next turn. So there's no point in sitting around and bluffing with the master of death they know about in hand. We can just like actually try and draw to something relevant, like a like a mind break trap or some shit. So opponent's lands begin to die. They've got two cards in hand. They can't activate an Ancient Tomb this turn, so they'll need something else. But they can get Lotus here, right? So they can get Lotus, cast a Jewel, and kill me from here. Is 
it a PO for two? It's a tinker for dual. Please don't have mainboard worm coil engine. No, nice. Whew. They can still kill us, but looks like they are killing us. That's another jewel coming in. Oh, it's the one ring. Okay. They need something to get this jewel out of play, right? Nox Opal. Two cards in hand. They are going for it, and they are doing pretty well. Wow. P.O. up to 11 cards with ring protection, so you don't replay your jewels. Pretty rough. Pretty rough for the home team. Um, let's... Oh, they've got an academy as well? Fuck. Okay, yeah. Looks like we're going to lose this one, but... It's a difficult, not difficult spot, but it's just an annoying spot where we have to, um, we have to watch them do it because if they do manage to fuck up, then we, uh, then we win. So, eight cards in hand, POs again. I'm going to make them get to Vault Key, so we'll just see how they do. Um, not sure there was much there for us to do differently. I guess the one thing that we did do was we lost a draw from the Strip Mine play. And I, okay, no, so that's, that was an interesting spot, actually. The Strip Mine. I Strip Mined the. Saga on one, so they couldn't get something and make a Saga that, um, yeah, I struck mine the Saga on one so that the other Saga would just die with no token, when maybe I could have strip mined the Saga on two so they didn't get it to resolve a Saga and get Lotus. And then if I do that, then they probably can't cast the Jewel. But I just wanted their lands to be dead, you know? So, um, yeah. Frustrating loss. I think I might send that spot to the old frowning table later. But let's go to... Yeah, let's go to round... Or not round two, game two, where we pick up one snapback and one mind break trap in exchange for a red lizard and a noxious revival. So... How do I feel about that? I feel pretty... Oh, hang on a second. No, I'm main decking Caracas. Give me my Lizards and Revivals back. What are we talking about? I forgot they were there. Um, cool. Frustrating loss, actually. I think... Maybe if I think more on the Saga... I, I, I might get from that conclusion. I don't know, though, because I was worried about the token at the time. Okay, game two, on the play, annoyingly. Uh, we'll keep this, and we would like to. We would like to see some lizard or hollow one fly off the top here. Perfect. So it's going to be powder master vengevine, and cast a hollow one. Cast a hollow one. Attack for four with negation behind. And one thing to note, post board against the, the Jewel Shops deck, you do not want them to get to six mana because they can play a Worm Coil engine. Um, so Worm Coil is their post board plan. They cut a number of the coveted jewels. So if you've got a spot like this, it can be good to fight their mana on the way down, like their monoliths and stuff. Because we we can go Force Negation, your Monolith, Wasteland, your face. Ooh. Like Force Negation, your Lotus, I think. Sounds good. Because that was just a turn one Soul Ring. No plays there, so we'll pick up the Bazaar. A 
Uh, oh, yeah, turn one worm coil, that could have been. So, I, I think I said soul ring. Did I say soul ring? Who knows? I'm losing my mind. Uh, let's activate the bazaar. I'm just going to wasteland them. I don't care. Um, wasteland you. Attack you down to four. You somehow get a worm coil engine into play. Attack you with all my creatures. And you go from four, you block ones, you take 12. And die. So I have to play the hollow one to beat one worm coil engine. Right? Math is hard. Um. That's a worm coil, also. That's a worm coil. I can't say words. Right, that's another hollow one, which I think defeats a worm coil engine now, but I might be talking shit. So you go to four, you'd gain six, and you'd take 12. 10 minus 12 is the game. So, over to you, Prince. If you kill me, you kill me. Good luck. So... Are they going to try? No, no attempt. Perfect. A fantastic victory. Um, I think same again. Fury doesn't do anything. Deeps don't do anything. Caracas is dead. Graveyard hate is pointless. So let's run it back and pray for an interactive hand on on the draw here. So that is not particularly interactive but it does have a bazaar of Baghdad so you know sometimes you just have to keep your hand defense grid please no needle please no needle no needle okay so defense grid is annoying I'm gonna strip mine here and the reason I'm going to strip mine is because I want to keep them as far away from six mana as possible. And workshop is quite a lot of mana. So, Prince passes straight back to me. So now we need to hit some clock with this activation. And we did not. So, we will hold fire for a moment. We'll discard all the squeeze. Do I want my strip mine back? If I do, I can get it later. That's fine. I don't want my strip mine back right now. I want my venge mine in play. So Prince continues to miss land drops. Man, Chalice would be such a busted draw right now. So we draw for the turn. We hit another master. Let's activate Bazaar. We hit a hollow one. So... Lizard, Vengevine, and a Squee. Our spells are also uncounterable. I feel like a Workshop blows this game open, though, because Workshop into Ring... Uh, yeah, I'd love to use Vengevine's ability. Would would really send us somewhere bad. Um, so, attack for four. Prince goes to 16. All our permissions dead. All we can do is put things into play. And hope it's enough. Um, oh, okay, very, very fortunate they've missed on so much mana. Do I want to strip mine? I think I might go and get my strip mine now. And that will play around a saga into Grim Monolith. Um... Three squeeze to the bin. Play strip mine. Like I can't cast spells, right? So just having something against something makes our spot a bit better. It plays around a random tabernacle, which I don't think Prince plays, and it plays around Saga being their mana source to get them started. No plays just yet. And no plays again. So, 
clean up, they discard. Coveted Jewel. We get three squeeze back and we attack for lethal. There's a defense grid in play, they can't do anything. And Prince going to give me the opportunity to click through combat by the looks of things. So just activate the bazaar once more for fun. Oh, I love doing that. There we go. And there are my three squeeze. And attack you for nine. Crunch. So that's going to be a match. We lost game one with a potential punt on the saga. Um, but yeah. Came back with two more pretty nutted hands. Right, I don't actually remember mulliganing much today. Um, so yeah, GG's to the prince, and I'll see you for the next round. Okay, round six, and we're up against Echo Baronin, so Andreas Peterson, um, one of the vintage crushers. Um, quite a lot of range with Andreas. Um, most recently seen on Doomsday, has played everything ever. Um, so, no real way to lock them into something. Um, Doomsday, they've played Squee recently, they're playing Mono White today, they've just revealed a Chancellor of the Annex. So we will play this Bazaar of Baghdad, because it's strictly better than the other one. I did consider the, um, the other Art Bazaar, and that's just because, um, and that's just because if it gets wastelanded, we end up with a better looking bazaar in play. Anyway, all that said and done, um, I'm going to discard a Blazing Root Waller, a Serum Powder, and a Noxious Revival, I guess. Which is a shame, because that means my squeeze get, my, my lizard's getting countered. So one play that you can make in these spots when they've got a chance to trigger on the stack is... You can discard stuff. Um, well, let's let's do it now. Uh, we won't do it, but we'll explain it when it's on the stack. And now you've got a madness trigger. So in this spot, you can not just revive all your spell, clear that chance to the trigger, and you end up with a lizard. Do I want to do that actually? Because I've got a bazaar. So if they wasteland me, it doesn't matter. I think I will. I think I will. So we'll do that now. We'll clear the chance to the trigger. And that way I get a squee. We're just on negation master of death at the moment. So. Uh, I won't pay the one for that. Naturally. I'll now let my madness trigger resolve. And I'll cast my lizard. So we've got a bit more board presence. Which is going to make us a bit better at fighting the initiative. Um, we're going to go fight some mana. On Andreas's opening hand or opening turn. So we've cleared our way through the Chancellor trigger. Chrome Moxes, Lotuses, Mox Pearls. They're not resolving here. Um, and it like if 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 it's turn one white plume, right, it's then really awkward for them because I've got two threats, they can't chump block to maintain the initiative or anything like that. They're they're just behind. Just behind. We did punt away a Noxious for that, but uh, we've got the backup bazaar. So, like, if I didn't, ha if this wasn't a backup bazaar and this was, let's say, a serum powder or whatever, I wouldn't be punting away that Noxious. Um, so, yeah, it's over to Andreas now. Andreas just plays Wasteland, wastes me, and passes the turn. Um, I imagine passes the turn. I said that thinking I'm in a format where there's no Mox, and haha. <laughs> but we do get the turn pass. We get through to our next turn, and Solitude Exiling Chancellor is going to take care of my Hollow One. All very upsetting. Um, creatures die. <laughs> Interesting timing. I wonder what the purpose of the timing is there. I can't negate a Solitude, right? Never mind. Who cares? To be honest. I trust Andreas's judgment. Um, so I'll play the second bazaar. I don't know if I activate it though. If I, uh, I won't activate it until they wasteland me, or it's their end step. Is what I mean by that. Um, or I'm hellbent. But 
if possible, we're going to negate pitching um, misstep, and then we'll keep a master of death to get an engine going. Right, they just have a strip mine, so good on them. We'll give it a spin then. So strip mine, wasteland, and solitude so far. So we'll discard squee. Mm. Hmm. Mental misstep on mine break trap. I think I'm just going to keep the trap in hand. So we have found another master, another bazaar, which is very lucky. Nothing like having three bazaars in the top 12 cards. And all I've got to show for it at the moment is this 1-1. One, one. But... Yeah, sorry Andreas, but hey, look, it's my third one. And Noxious as well, so... Let's get in for another point of damage. Pretty... Pretty lucky. Because if we had to draw through Vengevine Squee into Noxious Revival, that's two turns and we'd be very far behind. Um... I'm pretty sure Andreas has only got lands as mana sources. I don't think he's... Oh, no, okay, he has got Moxon. He might have just drawn this one, but I was thinking he would have played out some Moxon over the previous turns to play around traps and stuff. But no. Oh, I see. He's just trying to draw different ones because this is quite the investment. Cavern of Souls comes down. Names Archon. Final spells an Archon, and unfortunately, I do have a Mind Break Trap, so... Tasty. Tasty spot. I would pay. Actually, I wouldn't pay a lot, but I would like to draw a Force of Vigor. I was going to say I'd pay good money for a Force of Vigor right now, but I wouldn't actually. Um, it would just be pretty convenient. So we'll bring back these two, and we'll get take a draw step. See, you can just get them for free. Don't. Don't pay for stuff when you can just get it for free. That's my advice. So upkeep, we're just going to just really make it so that this 1-1 one -one looks like a realistic clock. And put Andreas back to the Stone Age. Um, that was a lot of resources that got expended for not a lot. So, I mean, Wasteland and Strip Mine getting back into it, but yeah, he's not drawn one. He's not interested in watching me fiddle with my squeeze, which is a shame because that's always the most fun, but we'll go to game two. Um, you've, so that game, we've got to appreciate that we were, in fact, quite lucky. We did draw three bazaars in 12 cards. Um, Mono White, four Furies, three Echoing Deeps today. Um, Caracas only hits Thalia, and Thalia negates all of our spells. So, interesting. Um, I don't like the negations that much. I think Chalice on the draw we can get rid of. Misstep doesn't really do anything. Um, and then I need three cuts. Usually I don't need this many because I've usually got the a, a couple of Furies in the main. Um, what do we think? What do we think? I think I'm happy to... I think I like the lands. I think 14 lands is cool. Um, I think I can cut like a force of will. Maybe just one of the Caracas then. Oh my god, I've got to cut. That's 62. 61. I'm going to trim a vigor. Actually, that's a complete lie. I'm not going to trim a vigor until I've looked at Andreas's most recent mono initiative deck. Uh, no ley lines. Cool. We'll trim a vigor then. No ley lines last time, and I'm happy to use that information to, you know, be at risk to an additional ley line at the very least. So, hopefully. There will be some pace of play, because um, I can get back to watching the Texans versus the Browns, but Andreas did warn me he may not be the fastest today. Maybe multi-queuing, maybe recording, I don't know. don't know. 
Okay, so um, opening hand has no bazaars, so we'll powder it. Opening hand has one bazaar, an echoing deeps, and a fury. That's pretty dope. So we'll keep this. Um, and we'll pass. So Chrome Mox makes its way down. Ancient Tomb, Archon of Amaria. Okay. Real talk, do I want to bink that Chrome Mox right now? Uh, that's a Venge Vine. <laughs> so... I'm going to play my Bazaar. It's going to come into play tapped. Upkeep, I am going to Vigor the Chrome Mox. And I'm going to pitch one of my Venge Vines. There's no chance to trigger this game, which is pretty cool. Four cards in hand for the opponent. Oh, Mox Pearl. Fuck it, I know. Okay, four mana. And we get our Bazaar. We do get to Bazaar, which is pretty sick. Another Vengevine. So, um, Containment Priest is potentially an issue. Let's activate this. Nothing good came of that. So let's discard Vengevine, Vengevine. I think this is a mind break trap. They've got two cards in hand, they're not multi spelling from here on out. So we'll discard the mind break trap. We'll play a wasteland. And it comes into play tapped because that's the rules of the game. Completely forgot that. Oh, yeah, I was, I, in my mind I'd already furied the Archon, but no, that's what the whole game's about at the moment. So one, two, three, four, five mana this turn. Cavern of Souls names Archon. Well, that's brutal, two of them. Okay. So So let's activate Bazaar of Baghdad. Cool. We'll discard Squee. Powder. Basking. We won't cast the Basking Root Waller. But we will cast the Fury. We can only cast one spell a turn. So. Seems good. Let's just four ball that guy. And then I will wasteland a card. What do we want to waste? We can waste Caracas. They still got white mana, so I guess we just wasteland Ancient Tomb because we're not going to get them off white mana this game. And we'll play a tapped wasteland and pass back. We've got more Furies. In our deck, which is why I activated that bazaar. Because if I find a different red card that's not a fury, basically if I find exactly a lizard, then I get to maintain a red card. Here I get to maintain cards as well. So let's have a look at what we get. Um, nothing good. So we'll discard Squee, Lizard, and the Deeps now can go. So we're on a second bazaar. I won't cast the Lizard. I'll cast the Hollow One. And now I think I'll just Wasteland Caracas. I think we'll just... Uh, what I... Because they play tab, don't they? How many tabs did Andreas play last time he was out and about? Zero. Really? Three Archon of Absolution, four Containment Priest, four Plow. Uh, no on the... So we kill Caracas. We play a bizarre tapped. We'll cast a hollow one. If he tabs me, he tabs me. No, just a plow. 
plow's fine. Plow's not too much of a sweat for us. Thalia, also not a big sweat. Thalia dies cleanly to Fury as well. Um, upkeep will give a bizarre spin. Discarding Squee and Mind Break Trap. And then we'll pick up this Squee. Draw step. Mind Break Trap. So let's go find a Fury to hold on to. Uh, no, but we did find another bizarre. Is that good? I guess it's fine. I'm going to hold it in my hand though. So it's going to give me more options next turn. I've already got two bazaars going, right? So. We're dead in a few turns, but we're seeing a lot of cards each turn. We're going to start seeing a lot of cards each turn as these squeeze start to churn. So whenever we find a fury, we should be in shape to do something worthwhile. And that's if we find a fury. Um, Wasteland fills me with regret on last turn to play. But we do get back two to squeeze. So let's pick those bad boys up. Welcome back, Squee. Hollow one. So an activation. There's a fury. So um, Caracas can go. So we can slow play this, right? Squee can go, squee can go. We'll play a bizarre tapped. We'll cast a hollow one. Now I've got a blocker. If they've got a plow, they've got a plow. And it just means I get to use all my cards. So they play a black lotus. Attack for two. Okay. I get back two squeeze. And I get a force of will. So let's just pitch. We're going to cleanly kill the two creatures in play, which is why I love Fury so much in this matchup. Um, and then we will activate a Bazaar of Baghdad. We hit a Hollow One. So if he's got Containment Priest, he's got Containment Priest. But it eats a Lotus. No, no Containment Priest. So we can still get Tabernacled, obviously. But I didn't play around Tabernacle earlier. I just opted that I would play in a manner that was a bit more a bit more aggressive, but Andreas is over it. We win the match. It takes us to four and two, I believe, which is, you know, really exciting. So yeah, see you for the final round. Okay, seventh and final round up against turn one, Glistener Elf. We've won the die roll again. Um, that's pretty mad. I've won a lot of them today, I think. Uh, don't know what they're playing. I'd be shocked if it is, in fact, Infect, but it's been a day of few mulligans. Um, I'm all for it. Final round, and basically, um, we're 17th at the moment, X and 2. We're definitely just playing for, for top 16 at this point. Um, so a win should lock that up for us. A loss, obviously, we then go into this this four and three scrum, praying for top 32 at that point. So um, my hand's pretty good, but I'm still gonna spin because I wanna look for a hollow one. Didn't find, so we'll just discard master powder. I guess one of these negations can go. Is that true? Or do I ditch a wasteland? I think I'll just ditch a wasteland. Um, so yeah, over to the opponent now. We've got some permission. I won't dispute that. The reason I kept the, the final negation is because I've got pitch pitch. Um, as well as pitch trap. So let's see what the Glistener Elf is playing today. And it's a mirror. Oh well, it's a Bizarre mirror. So, oi oi oi, what's going on? So, discard lizard, squee, vengevine. Okay. 
Do you have a hollow one as well? Awkward. Negation's not great in this spot. They're getting for four. And we we just need to find pressure now. Annoyed at this point that we discarded that wasteland, but I, I still don't hate it against the wider field. Um, so we'll pick up our squee. We'll take our draw step. And there's our hollow one. One card too deep, but that's fine. So let's activate. And this could be difficult. So negation, master of death negation. Um, cast a hollow one. Probably have to fight over the hollow one at this point. Um, wasteland. Wasteland your bazaar of Baghdad. So... Passing back, they're going to pick up a squee. We're going to trade off with the hollow one, I think, just because we're behind on board and we need to come up with something. Hopefully no second bazaar from the opponent. No, no second bazaar. So we don't have main deck hollow one, uh, main deck furies, sorry. So that's a bit of a worry. They're going to send with the two... The two nerds, we're going to block the hollow one on the hollow one. Take our four, go to 11. We'll go to 10 in our upkeep. Um, and we're really just looking for pressure. I don't actually hate the idea of noxing my hollow one. Oh no, I like the idea of noxing my bizarre of Baghdad. That's what I like the idea of. Um, so end step, we'll do this. So we can negate back, but we don't need to, they don't have it. Pick up a Master of Death. Pick up a Bazaar, play Bazaar, and give it a flip. So nothing there for us. Um, so we take five, we go to three. We then go to two in our upkeep. One if we force of will something. But I mean, I'm not... I'm not discarding two of these blue cards, I don't think. No. Okay. So we desperately need to fade Wasteland this turn. We can't do anything about that. They've got another Wasteland, and that's probably game. Unless we obviously top deck Bazaar of Baghdad next turn. So let's see what they've got. Hopefully it's just an attack for five and a pass of the turn. So I don't really want to be going out there force of willing spells at the cost of life. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so that's probably going to kill us. Um, yeah, we need our exact top card to be bizarre for us to have any hope of doing anything. Um, we can pick up this, the blue squee at this point because it just doesn't matter. And then we've got a force of wood if they try to knock just something useless. That's what they're doing. Trying to give me a powder. I'll fight back. And it's a lizard. So on to game two. Um, we would like these cards. So we need the graveyard hate, we'd like the Furies to clean up, and we like the Echoing Deeps so that we've got access to Bazaars. Um, Chalice is awful. Negations are awful. Mindbreak Traps are difficult. Um, Caracas does nothing. So then we get down to this bit. Misstep is your best card in the mirror. Force of Vigor beats up on uh, the Leyline of the Voids. And I've got three cuts to make, so I'm actually just going to cut three of the Force of Wills. So something I'd rather cut over Force of Will. I don't think so. Um, yeah, and mainly we're aiming to, to fight like bizarre superiority. So you've got to prioritize the Wastelands and the Surgicals and yada, yada, yada. But 
so you can take some hits in order to fight over the bazaars, but you do need to then at some point, you know, present some threats. So it can be difficult. It can be very intricate and very luck based. It's as much sense as that makes. So we'll keep this seven card hand, which kills a later on in the void, has a later on in the void and a bazaar of Baghdad. I think that sounds, I think that sounds playable. Um, so two Vigors got exiled, so it's two Vigors and a Fury get exiled, which means our Ley Line here looks pretty strong. Obviously they can draw their other two, but when half of their outs to a Ley Line have gone already, I like our spot. Um, this is my Ley Line. Do you have a Ley Line? They've got priorities, I assume so. Um, okay, so how do we want to play this? I think we just would activate Bazaar, right? Activate Bazaar, present some threats. So we'll discard Lizard. Lizard Fury Squee. Pretty rough. Maybe that activation's bad. I don't think that activation can be bad. It doesn't look great, you know? And we'll cast the hollow one as well, why not? Cool, I got three. And I'm gonna slow roll my Vigor, okay? Um, Cause if they've got a turn one hollow one, they don't, they've got a turn one ghost quarter. So my bazaar goes down. Um, I'll respond by vigoring their ley line. And I don't know anything about my deck order, so I will have a look. There's still no basic lands there. Um, and the reason we figured in response to that is because now we've got another bazaar. So we've drawn our single force of will. We'll play our bazaar. It comes into play tapped this one, but it's still a bazaar. Um, and then we'll attack for five. Have you found another one of your vigors? Doesn't look like it, so that's good. Six cards though, and a bazaar of Baghdad, of course, for them. So, oh no, it's just another ghost quarter. Wild. So a wasteland heavy hand from the opponent. No third bizarre from me. So this is where it gets a bit hairy, right? Where I've got Leyline, but they've got the bazaar. I assume they've got the bazaar. No, they haven't got the bazaar. Wild. So they kept. Leyline, Ghost Quarter, Ghost Quarter. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but, you know, people can do what they want. They move to clean up, they can discard a Lizard to make sure they don't die next turn. I get another Squee. Pretty perfect if you ask me. In come the clowns. My opponent is trading the lizards. So they go to one. They just got an endless stream of lizards then. There are eight cards. Fury, my hollow one. Okay. So, hollow one down, leaving us with just ley line versus nothing. Oh, they just misclicked the hollow one. Well, we take those.
What a weird grey area we find ourselves in. Like, I really want the win. Okay. So, this time on the draw, sideboarding's not going to change. I don't know how I feel about attacking there. Um... Yeah, interesting spot. Not just a... How do I feel about it from my own philosophical standpoint? I mean, I didn't ponder it for that long. But it makes me feel a bit dirty. Um, right, we'll resubmit. Bizarre double lay line pressure. The dream, so we'll keep this. Don't mulligan, it's pretty easy. I'm still going to play both ley lines. I don't give a shit about vigor. If I play both ley lines and they vigor them, my hollow one sticks. So we shall see. We shall see indeed. Uh, these two, please. Okay. So they've got the bazaar this time. They're on four cards though, against a vigor, against a ley line, double ley line. Do you have the vigor going down to one card in hand? Yeah. So vigor pitching revival. Bazaar of Baghdad. Give it a spin. Uh, Vengevine. And the two green lizards. Okay. You want to hold the red lizards for. Uh, for potential furies. And here's my Vengevine, have you got a surgical? Nope. Um, so we'll slay. And we'll cast the hollow one. How much is that? Eight. So giving them a vigor doesn't really do a lot. We'll see if they spin on end step. I assume they will. Yeah, they spin. Let's see what oh fuck, that's a very upsetting spin for them. Um So hopefully they'll spin with a squee trigger on the stack here. No, they never will, will they? Um, yeah, I think it's fine to give them a squee. To let them then to get the squee. I think I'd rather knock just like a potential venge vine or something. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that uh, game two attack with the hollow one for lethal. Like it's clear my hollow one's supposed to be dead but then on the other side of things we're playing you know a competitive event and i want prizes i don't know I'm not sure how i feel about myself right now a whole dilemma so we'll play the bazaar of baghdad we'll spin one and we'll discard both the lizards and the powder and with these triggers on the stack I'm just going to spin again hit double surgical noxious noxious surgical we'll hold the surgical we've got two bazaars we don't need our noxious if they trigger a vengevine I can bink both of them now so no vengevines there and Attack for 10. 
presents lethal next turn. And there is an argument that you can like surgical the squeeze here so that they've got less outs to a fury. Um, but I think the risk of two venge vines coming back in is is too high. So, and if two venge vines come back in, then I'm winning like slightly slower, I guess. I don't know. Like, what are they fury? They can't even fury to stay alive, right? So yeah, no, it's not. There's not even an argument there. Just hold your surgical for their venge vines. So, I think we're too far ahead at this point. I don't. I can't think of a series of plays that's going to get our opponent back onto this. Um, which will lock up the five and two in top sixteen if they don't come up with something. So two cards in hand. And a pass the other turn. And then we slay. So, damage happens, and the match ends. So, yeah, we should make top 16. Um, our breakers aren't good enough to make any sort of, sort of thing there. We did, unfortunately, dream crush our opponent out of top 8 as well with that. Um, Hey ho, I, yeah, I just don't know how I feel about my hollow one attack. Um, let me know if you think it's scummy, but I, I don't know. I don't know what I think. There's like the, I know what my opponent's meant to do there. They know what they meant to do there. We can quite easily play a game where I never attack or block with that hollow one. However, I don't know. We're here to game. Misclicks happen. Play it as it lies. I don't know. Never mind. Five and two. Happy with that. I think I'm ahead in that match anyway. Right, Leyline versus a no bizarre hand. We're both drawing to bizarres. I have three and an echoing and two echoing deeps. They have four bizarres to draw to. Obviously it's pretty luck based from there on out, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.